Macau, Asia's gaming capital. Now the gambling industry is no longer the only game in town. Macau was and still is very well known worldwide by its uh, round casino chips, uh, but now uh, is also known uh, in China, uh, Europe and the uh, United States and worldwide by its uh, electronics uh, chips. Professor Ray Martins heads the microelectronics lab at the University of Macau. His team's recent creations include chips which allow one smartphone to charge the battery of another wirelessly. Research that could put the university and China on the map in the field of electronics. Nowadays, if you talk to any professor in electronics in a university in China, and even companies in China, uh, all of them knows, uh, know our lab. If you talk, but if you talk about our lab in Europe, in the United States and so on, same thing. China is developing its chip industry. The nation is the world's biggest semiconductor consumer. But currently, it only produces 16% of the chips driving its tech growth. Professor Martin says that could change. You said in an interview with the South China Morning Post that Macau could change the balance of power between China and the U.S. in time. How? Well, uh, 27 years ago when I came here, there was nothing here, not even uh, electronics, uh, research or something, nothing. One thing that made me stay here was the quality of students. So these high-level people that uh, we train here, that uh, then are training a younger generation, they are working in the state-of-the-art uh, electronics. So we are competing at the top level in the world. Professor Martins admits there is still much work to do, but he has high hopes for China's tech independence. Tao Yuan, CGTN, Macau.